What's up dudes, it's Chad here at Barry Big Plums Fishing. I'm here at Brick Farm Trout Fishery in Herman Zoo. It is May the 9th. I have my Orvis Helios 3. And I have two buzzers on my MPX floating line. And more importantly, I've ordered myself a new GoPro, but the bad news is it doesn't arrive till next week. So I'm gonna see what I can do video wise with just my mobile phone. So we're going old school today, guys. But from next week, we'll be back as we were before. Right, two buzzers. We've got a black one on the point. Uh, you can't really see because it's twizzled around the end. But I've got a size 14 black buzzer with a bit of flash in it on the dropper. I'm going to sort out my hat, switch straight, and uh, get my line underwater to see what I can do. Doing here, guys, is literally just drifting it around. There's a little bit of a rip on the water from the pump over there. Just saying, two, uh, two buzzers on, one on the dropper. And I'm watching that line to see if it moves at all. You see me put a little mend in there. That's because the current is coming that way from the aerator. I'm just trying to get a bit more depth from my buzzers as I'm drifting it through. <laughs> the fisherman's curse, dudes. Guess what? I turned around to go and get my coffee in my Contigo cup. And I had a pull. Literally, the whole line shot off. And by the time I turned around and uh, tried to do something with it, it was good night, Irene. The fish had dropped my buzzer. But wow, guys. You know what? I didn't think it was actually possible to you know, actually be in love with a bit of fish equipment. But the Orvis Helios 3D, for me, it's just the perfect fly rod, guys. I absolutely adore this piece of kit. It's just such a pleasure to use. It really, really is. Worth every penny. It was an expensive rod, but the amount of times I've used it, if you divide that, it's just it's just so much fun to use. And I'm using the Scientific Angler MPX line with it. And it's just beautiful. It's, when you find that perfect bit of kit, guys, it, you just you know you've found that kit that's for you. You know, it's just a joy to you. Enjoy using it every time. Some people, it's their cars. You know, I'm not, not worried about cars, for example. But for me, as far as fishing rods go, guys, this is my dream bit of kit. Oh, this is so cack handed. I cannot wait for my GoPro to arrive sometime this week, guys. It's an absolute nightmare filming with, um, with a phone. I'm well past that, but that's on the point fly. Very nice. Which is just a plain black ribbed, uh, just literally a plain black buzzer, actually. It's quite, um, quite nice. Get in there. Look at that. I have to say, I wish I had the camera going, guys, just to show you just how brutal these takes and buzzer are. There's no mistake in it. When they feed, they're so bleeding confident. Your line just absolutely catapults. Oh, God, hello, hello. Your line absolutely catapults away. It's just like nothing else. Right, well, I'm going to have to get this one in my hand, I think. It's too awkward playing it off the reel and filming at the same time, but there we go. Nice rainbow. This water's lovely here, lovely and clear, guys. It's a big farm. So I used to always fish this place with lures and damsels, but ever since I've caught the buzzer bug, this has been my preferred way to fish. <laughs> so it's got a nice bend in the rod, right? How on earth am I filming this? I've got no idea how I used to do this all the time. You literally just push the button on the GoPro and it records on your chest or on your hat and then you can just worry about playing the fish. But this is so cack-handed. <laughs> but yeah, that's a fishing for the win. Right, let's, let's get me in. Oh dear, there's a horrible storm coming in and I think I hear thunder and rain. My wife just texted me saying where I live there was a horrible storm with lightning and thunder. Um, so I've got a funny feeling I might be uh, having a bit of a coffee break in a minute. I don't know guys, let's see. Right, let's get him in. Let's get him in. You can see the buzzer there in his mouth. Just in his top lip. There we go. What a beautiful rainbow. You can see the buzzer there in it, just in the roof of his mouth. Wonderful. Let's dispatch him and have a proper look. There you go, guys. It's a lovely rainbow, a couple of pounds. So it's just this plain black 
buzzer here. This is actually a buzzer I saw Steve Cullen using. Uh, Steve Cullen is the Witchwood guy, you know, he uh, works for Witchwood. And I watched one of his buzzer videos, and this is what he uses the point fly and a lot of the reservoirs because it looks quite like a natural buzzer because he was actually spooning the fish and that was the type that he was using. It's uh, also on a nice grub hook as well, so it sinks nice and quickly. And I've got a tiny little buzzer just on the dropper there, which is a lot smaller, so it turns over nicely. I'm using my Helios 3, it's a nine foot rod, so it's slightly easier just using the one dropper. I can use two droppers with it, but I just find it slightly easier to deal with if you're just using a smaller rod, having the one dropper. Right, let's string him and get back on it. Right. Round two, dudes. Look at all these tap holes in here. If you ever get stuck here in the next couple of weeks, guys, at Brick Farm and you're not catching, stick a small Montana with a little tail on it or a tap hole pattern. I guarantee you, you're going to catch. The, the trout will be gorging on these big time. Well, after a couple of pulls round on that platform, guys, I've moved down. Oh, my God, listen to that. I think I'm going to get wet, guys. Uh, I've moved down to this area where I can cast by the aerator. Um, here is the other buzzer that I'm using. It's got a really, really long uh, dropper on it, about 10 inches or so. I'm going to sh shorten that down to five or six inches because I might be missing takes on that. But uh, this is a disclaimer now, guys. I am not an expert on buzzer fishing. This is very, very new stuff to me. Um, I'm trying it out after being recommended buzzer fishing for the last few years. I've been fly fishing. Um, and kind of almost given up on it you know i didn't have much success buzzer fishing for the first couple of years i kind of gave up on it i saw people whipping out stockfish after stockfish on big cats whiskers it's very hard to stick with something like buzzers if you're not actually catching anything so you're doing it wrong or not having faith in the technique and you see your mate pulling fish after fish out so i think like anything it's a case of just sticking with it until you kind of crack it and then once you crack it you know i think sort of spring spring time is going to be a real good time fishing for you it's also very very relaxing very lazy fishing too you kind of just fire it out and, and you leave it that's the hardest thing for me is leaving it not retrieving it um you know because i've always retrieved flies it's just one of those things but to actually naturally drift it round in the wind um is counterintuitive to what i've started learning as but it definitely definitely works as you can see here all right guys i've moved down here to spring lake and I've put three buzzers on now rather than the two. And luckily, oh, this is going well. My line just shot off. I was getting to the point actually where I wonder if I should change from the buzzers, but this is going quite well. I'm not, I haven't seen it yet. I have not seen it yet. Oh, hello. I'm trying not to cover the camera. Um, hmm. Right. Oh, this is going well, guys. This is going well. Right, hold on. Let my line go slap them. Big no-no, Chad. Big no-no. Oh, whoa, this is rattling. Shaking its head. Right. This filming about a GoPro is definitely getting old. So I oh, cannot wait for my new GoPro to arrive, guys. Absolutely. <laughs> Whoa, hello, sunshine. This is one of them fishy that actually comes up and you don't see it. Right, I'm going to have to get some line back, guys. I'm actually not far from the back in here. Oh, it's shaking its head violently. Gosh, truth. That is a size 16 buzzer on top. That's where it's taken. Ooh, mate, that's a nice fish. That's why it's been giving me some grief. That is a decent fish, guys. Is a nice fish. Oh my goodness. Whoa, no wonder that really got me over the lake, guys. It's definitely a better one. 
I've got to find a way to, oh. That's about a five pound fish, I'd say, guys, on buzzer. That's a nice one. Now he's seen me, he's woken up again. Right, I'm going to continue to play this quite delicately, people. Right. Okay. He's off, he's off, he's off. He's off. Is a nice one. Very nice fish. So that'd be why. Oh, he's off again. Can I go? I lose this fish, I am gonna cry. I am gonna cry. Chums. Right, let's have a go at this. There we go. do that the filming was awful but that was absolutely awesome let's have a look when i dispatch him there he goes look at that on a quill buzzer very nice that fish i'm gonna go and weigh him because that's a cracking fish awesome there you go guys that's probably about four or five pound really give me a good scrap on buzzer well happy with that about an hour since my last one guys so I've gone back on buzzer it's still peeling some line don't mind yeah it's on the top dropper guys on the top dropper it's still going Filming's all over the place, guys. <clears throat> so apologies about that. So the buzzers and the scissors there. Oh dear, what an absolutely all over the place filming, but that's a, another fish on that small small buzzer. There you go dudes, that's another really, really cracking session here at Brick Farm Trout Fishery in Sussex. Had a great day again. Um, I've big thumbs up to the new owners. I say the new owners, they've been there for about a year now, but they're really, really lovely people. For me, that's always important. I really like to deal with you know, nice people and, and they certainly tick that box. Always makes it more of a pleasant session, I think. This is just, been really good fun the last few weeks on buzzers guys i've really really been enjoying it this is kind of like my new small water where i'm going to fish buzzers i'm probably not going to fish anything else here i just i've had a really good time that four and a half pounder absolutely killed it it just fought and fall really give a good account of himself that's the fish i'm taking home to eat i've given the other three away um, i had one about three pound there at the end as well which was awesome uh, but the four and a half pounder that's kind of the story of the day it just was so much fun playing it on the five weight so another really good session really enjoyed myself guys and i now at least my gopro is on order so it should be here so the next video you see uploaded will be on gopro again this recording with a phone is not really um the same business you know gopro in your hands are free you get better quality footage but i've done what i can you know guys you know I like uploading on this channel and uh, I think you guys enjoyed the videos so 
I wanted to get some more stuff out there. I hope you enjoyed it. I've really caught the buzzer bug, guys. I've kind of cracked it. I kind of feel it now. I've got a rough idea what I'm doing. And uh, yeah, I'm going to be fishing buzzers more and more as time goes on. Anyway, dudes. Cool. This is Barry Big Plums. This is Chad. Whatever you want to call me. Catch you later.